To have the signal from the camera to the switcher, we have different solutions. And uh, analog is just out of speech because analog is so yesterday, of course. And uh, digital is much easier, actually, to do now. So digital signal from a camera to the switcher. We have this HDMI cable. You may have seen it before because that's the ordinary cable you have for, uh, to your modern TV. The problem with, with HDMI is the length. You cannot have more than five to 10 meters of HDMI, and then the signal will just drop and be so weak that the switcher will not recognize the signal at all. And the cameras will, of course, be more than five or 10 meters away from the switcher. So then we have different solutions. We could uh, transform the signal to another kind of signal that will actually live longer. So we have here a solution, an HDMI to ordinary network cables, CAT cables. And these uh, boxes need uh, power, so just plug the power in here. And you have HDMI from the camera into a box near the camera, and then you can have maybe 100 meters of these two pairs, it has to be two actually, two network cables. And in the other end, you connect another HDMI cable, a short one, and connect that to the switcher. We have tried this and it didn't work. <laughs> we don't know why. But I also read online uh, on the internet that uh, people have problems with this solution. It could be sold if you have a very expensive box or if you have very expensive cables. Uh, well, we don't know. So it, it's cheap. So go ahead and experience and try different boxes if you want, because this is the cheapest solution. The box doesn't cost much. The cable is very cheap. But we ended up in Vineyard Norden with using this kind of cable. It's called SDI. The signal is called SDI, Serial Digital Interface. And it uses these green, very stiff coax cables with a B and C plug in each end. And this is a cable for both analog video and also digital video. And it uh, brings the signal more than 100 or 200 meters without any problem. And the switch here we are using actually has uh, SDI inputs. So we can actually take the SDI directly from a camera that has SDI to the switcher with this small little cable. Be aware, this cable is very fragile. You can't step on it. So if, it's, if you have to cross the hall, you have to put it in some kind of tube or something to protect it. But cameras with uh, SDI output is very expensive. Think about 20,000, 30,000, Norwegian kroner. So we have some solution. And that is a box, a converter box, that converts from HDMI to SDI. So you just connect from the camera with HDMI. That's a cheap camera. Almost the most of the cameras nowadays, amateur cameras, have HDMI out. Connect that to the HDMI to SDI converter and plug the SDI jack on the other side. Uh, this box has a battery power, so it doesn't need uh, extra external power, but the, the power will last for, the battery will last for two hours, so probably it's a good idea to have the, uh, the external power as well. But of course, if someone steps on the power, you have the battery. Uh, this box will cost uh, about 2,500 or so Norwegian kroners, so it's quite expensive. Uh, the cables is more expensive than the network cable, but not that much expensive. And you can actually have use uh, used old cables. Like this one, it was meant for analog video, but it works very well with digital as well. So then you just need one converter at the start at the camera and just plug the other end of this cable directly to the switcher. <laughs> 